Well, what is up, 418 folks, people? So glad you're here. Um, this is day seven. Proud of you. You're sticking with it. You're making it happen. Um, this is just supposed to be a a kickstarter into the rest of your life because we are supposed to be spending time with Jesus every day. Why? Because it's important. Because we love him and he loves us and, and that's how we build our relationship with him. Um, today I want to talk to you about prayer. How do we pray? Uh, I've talked with a lot of teenagers and they're like, man, I don't know how to pray. Like what do I pray for? What do I say? The first thing you need to know that is that talking to God is like talking to a friend, like talking to anybody. You just talk to him about what's going on. Now, when you're spending time with God, you may be saying, how do I do it? What, what do I pray? And I'm going to give you a quick, a quick crash course on this. And this is from Matthew chapter 6, uh, starting in verse 9. And Jesus is do, doing uh, teaching the disciples how to pray. And you may have heard of it as the Lord's Prayer. Um, but this is Jesus telling them how to pray. All right. And here's what he says. Verse 9. Pray like this. Our Father in heaven, may your name be kept holy. May your kingdom come soon. May your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today the food we need and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And don't let us yield to temptation, but rescue us from the evil one. So real quick, I'm going to break down these verses so you know what it is Jesus is saying. He's not saying say these words. He said, pray like this. All right. This is the type of stuff you should be praying for. Here we go. Our Father in heaven, may your name be kept holy. So the first thing Jesus says is worship. Worship God. Get your mind on him. Get some music on. Begin to worship and, and just tell him how great he is. May your kingdom come soon. The next thing we're talking about is saying, God, we want your kingdom on earth. We want you coming and, and, and me living out in a way that is bringing your kingdom to this earth. And he says, may your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. In the same way that heaven is responding to you, may it respond to you here. This is where it would be a good time to pray for other people. God, may your will be done uh, for my family. May your will be done for my friends. May your will be done for this person who's sick and this person who's struggling. We begin to pray for people. And it says, give us the food, give us today the food that we need. This is when you start praying for your needs and you start praying for even your wants and the and the stuff that you're asking God for and seeking him for and asking for wisdom. And then he says, forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Here's what he's saying. God, this is a good time for, for you to repent. A good time for you to tell God you're sorry and to search your heart and ask him, God, is there anything going on inside of me that needs to be changed? And God, if there's something I have where I'm mad at somebody else, I want to forgive them too. And finally, he says, don't let us yield to temptation, but rescue us from the evil one. And here's what he's saying. God, help me in this day. God, help me to do the right thing. Help me to make the right choices. Help me to say no to sin and yes to you. Guys, if you start following this kind of pattern, not this, not the words, but the pattern of this prayer, the topics of the prayer, maybe not even in that order, but you start doing that, I promise you, you're going to see your prayer life begin to skyrocket. You're going to say, man, I didn't think I could spend 10 minutes with God, but I've been spending 15, 20, 30 minutes with God because the prayer is just coming out because now I know what to talk to God about. You guys have an incredible day and we'll see you tomorrow.